Greetings everybody. So today I want to draw your attention to one key spec when you're shopping for a Wi-Fi router, what is a single router or a mesh system, and how it can affect your Wi-Fi speed based on how many devices are going to be connected in your home. So what are you shopping for? AC router, an AX router, which is the new Wi-Fi 6 routers, you want to look for that number beside that AC or AX. That number is signifying the max amount of speed that that Wi-Fi router can put out wirelessly. Now when you do see that number, sometimes it's a smaller number and sometimes it's a very large number. But I want to point out to you that that's not going to speed up your Wi-Fi speed. So if your device can only pull, for instance, 100 megabits, that's the only maximum speed it's going to pull out. It's not going to pull the entire 6,000 or 5,000 or 11,000 speed that the Wi-Fi router is putting out. So that number from the router is basically the pool and everybody's pulling from that pool. So if one device is pulling 100 megabits, then you still have enough left for the other devices to pull the rest. So your device is not going to pull that total number from that pool. It's just based on its capability. Now the second key point about that big number behind the AC or the AX is the fact that that number is actually broken down in different bands. So if your router has a dual band or a tri band, that means it's going to split that huge number into all these different bands just to share them out. So for instance, on a dual band router, you're gonna have a 2.4 gigahertz and a five gigahertz. The 2.4 gigahertz is gonna have less versus the five gigahertz. In the tri-band setup, you're gonna have two five gigahertz and one 2.4 gigahertz. In the tri-band setup, the 2.4 gigahertz is still going to get less megabits per second versus the 5 gigahertz that's going to get equal amount of megabits per second. Okay, so I was trying to explain in the simplest form as I can make it possible what those numbers mean and how that big number is divided in a dual band Wi-Fi router and a tri-band Wi-Fi router. So now that I've explained what that number is, it's time for me to help you decide on which Wi-Fi router to get based on that number. Okay, so if you know you have or you plan on having a bunch of Wi-Fi connected devices in your home, then you wanna go for the largest number as possible. Now, of course, when you go for the larger number, you're gonna end up paying more, but it's gonna be less headache in the long run when you notice that you're streaming a bunch of movie and there's no buffering. On the other hand, if you have less people in your home and you're not gonna be doing a lot of streaming, then go for the lowest number because it's not gonna affect you that much. It's just gonna be based on a bunch of streaming from your Wi-Fi devices. If you're gonna have a lot of devices hardwired into your router based on how your router is set up, you can check out that video I did based on hardwiring your stuff. Then you wanna go for the number that's lower too because you're gonna have less load on your Wi-Fi. Now, whether you plan on going with a single router or a mesh system, you still want to look for the highest number as possible based on your setup. And whether you go with the AC, which is the Wi-Fi 5, or the AX, which is the Wi-Fi 6, you still want to look for the highest number as possible based on your setup. So now you know what that number means and how it's divided into different bandwidths. And based on how much load you're trying to put on your Wi-Fi, you can go for a lower number or a higher number the higher number is always going to cost more versus the lower number, but you definitely want to get that number that's going to be suitable for you and give you less headache when you start streaming a lot of devices in your home to reduce buffering and the internet is slow and the Wi-Fi is slow, kids complaining, stuff like that. In the next video, I'm going to help you choose between the single or the mesh system and why you want to get either or. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.